Hello, my name is Martin Gritveld. I'm Professor of Biomedical Chemistry and Chemical Pathology at Leicester School of Pharmacy. This is actually a benchtop NMR facility and the experiments we're conducting are very, very pioneering. The first of their kind where we're looking at diagnosis of human diseases from biological fluids um, or in a facility which could be aimed for point of care use in GP surgeries, for example, at some stage in the future. Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Mark Martin and I'm a Clinical Entrepreneur Fellow of NHS England. Uh, essentially, I'm working with uh, Martin and VMU University to look at the potential of adopting uh, point of care uh, testing into the NHS. Uh, part of the program is NHS is looking at innovative technologies that we can expedite into uh, the NHS system for direct benefit of patients. And the instrument we have uh, behind me here has uh, so far shown some very promising results in that we can detect molecules at a molecular level that can, for example, help uh, us diagnose diabetes much earlier than current methods. My name is Dr. Philippe Wilson. I'm a lecturer in chemical biology and cheminformatics at De Montfort University here in Leicester. So this is really um, a breakthrough technology. Uh, it's very easy to see where the cost savings of the NHS can come and obviously how the patients could, uh, could improve their, their outcomes. What we need now is just to basically show them, look, we can tell the difference between a diabetic patient and a non-diabetic patient. So our initial study is diabetes because it's one of the part of the NHS uh, plan for the next few years. It's a significant disease that costs billions of pounds to the NHS every year and four to six percent of the uh, of the cost to the NHS a year is uh, actually recoverable because it could be prevented fr from early diagnosis and early treatment, etc., which this machine could actually help to contribute to. So yeah, it could be two to three years um, when this machine, we actually find them in GP surgeries and people start really benefiting from them.